Hello, I'm going to teach you how to do this, uh, sync up your logic stuff. Okay, in Apple's logic, you've got channel settings, you've got templates, you've got all sorts of crap. And we can sync that using Dropbox and a little like super hacky tool called a Simlink, which actually isn't all that hacky. I, I don't know. It's all code to me. I don't understand it, but it works. I just did this and it works and I'm going to show you how. So let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is navigate to your logic uh, folder where you keep all this stuff. Here's the easiest way to do that. Go shift, command, G for shift, commanding, go. Um, and I want you to go to the squiggly line library. Okay, this takes us inside of, show you, our library, which is kind of a hidden folder, whatever, depending on which version you're running. But then you're going to go application support. Okay, got it? Double click that. And you're going to go logic. Got it? Double click that. Here's where we have all our stuff our project templates, our, uh, you know, our tracks, uh, channel settings, and all this stuff. Okay? So this is the stuff we want to sync. Let's go up one file, click back, because this logic folder right there, that we're going to sync the whole thing. We don't even care. We're just going to sync the whole thing. So I'm on my. Uh, I'm on my mobile computer, I'm on my laptop. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off Dropbox syncing. I don't know if I need to do this, but it's just worrisome to me. So what I do is, um, let's see. Okay, so now over here on this side, we've got Dropbox, all right? And inside of Dropbox, there's a special folder called Apps. This is a folder that, you, that a lot of other applications use to just automatically sync their stuff to Dropbox, like, for example, by word or drafts or transmit or things like that. And if you could see my little logic folder is right there. It's already doing its thing. It's fascinating. So why don't I do this? I'm gonna delete that and we can start all over. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up terminal. This is where things get scary, but just follow me, okay? Do command space to open up spotlight and start typing terminal until you see it. There's terminal. Terminal is uh, how you access the, uh, the the Death Star. This is how you can you know ruin your whole life. But uh, it's really it's just a it's just a tool to be able to do all sorts of techy type of types of things. What we're going to type is very simple: ln space hyphen s space. Got it? Think of it as like link <laughs> ln space hyphen space. This is creating a symbolic link. Between what? Oh, let's tell it what we wanted to create a symbolic link between. Logic folder. You can see that? This folder right here from the application support thing. We're do creating a symbolic link from that. And then it's going to ask us, hey, wh where do you want to symbolically, symbolically link that to? Um, and we're going to grab this apps folder, the folder that we want the logic folder to live inside of. And we're just going to drag that up and say, Let's do this. And how we do that is we just simply click enter. And you wish you had the thing that said like, hey man, <laughs> I'm proud of you. That was scary. I think you did it. Seems to be going well. Good job. We didn't know if you could handle it. Uh, but you did. But instead you just get this back at your cursor. That's it. You know, I I still, I mean, st it's still a little bit of, uh, you know, of, a, of, a, of some magic to me. So now when I sync up, uh, when I start syncing Dropbox again, what Dropbox, the way I picture it, what it does is it like, even though this is just a link to those files that logic reads from, Dropbox kind of like goes like through the rabbit hole and goes and sucks up that stuff over there and keeps syncing that too. Uh, it's a way to get Dropbox out into, your, into other places that Dropbox doesn't typically go because they're very unsafe. Um, so now I've got my little green check mark there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up uh, this thing and I'm gonna go to Dropbox and I'm gonna sign in. Invariably, I am never signed into Dropbox for some reason. Okay, here's my apps folder. There's logic. Let's see if this stuff's inside. Ho oh, ho! Channel strip settings. Here's my track, the blue microphone from Rockware, the this, that, look at it, it's all there, okay? 
So that is a simple and easy way to get Logic to sync all of its stuff through Dropbox on multiple computers. So now I just go do that same thing on another computer and it should work. I did it already. It does work. So, uh, and you can use this to sync up uh, Dropbox to anything, uh, your desktop. In fact, let's do that right now. Check this out. You ready? LN hyphen S, right? Let's go my desktop. And actually, hold on, let me turn off Dropbox first. And uh, where am I going? Into Dropbox. I'll go ahead and throw it inside of. Uh, no, let's just create a folder here called desktop. You ready for this? It's gonna get scary. All right, doing it. I'm clicking enter. Seems to be the, the right sort of thing. All right, now let's go ahead and resume syncing. Actually, I didn't need to turn it off that time. All right, come with me over here to my other computer. You coming? Careful, careful, careful. Careful, watch your step. All right, now let's see what's happening. I hope my computer doesn't fall. Okay, so now I'm going over here and I am turning off the sync. Let's do that first, pause syncing. Then I am gonna open up terminal. I'm gonna go ln hyphen s. I'm going to drag my drop uh, my my desktop. Okay. Now this gets dicey when there are things in your desktop. I don't have anything on this desktop because I'm not an, I'm not a loser. Um What did I mean by that? I'm not entirely sure. But now I've dragged on my desktop from this rig. Now I'm going to do a space and drag on the desktop folder from within Dropbox that's already synced up, okay? See, this is where I had troubles before because it's gonna give me this error. File exists. What does that even mean? Nobody knows what that means. So, here's what I had to do the first time. I opened up, oh, look at that. I don't even need to do that. So I put a full, we're learning things. Let me show you what's happened here. Okay, desktop. Now there's a desktop folder within that. Huh, didn't really mean to do that. What I did mean to do is, I'm gonna delete this and see what happens. Um, starting all over, you don't need to turn off the sync for when you do your first one. Okay, ln dash s. Now I'm gonna drag my, um, yeah, I'm gonna drag desktop and I'm going to drag, drag Dropbox, not the apps folder or not a desktop folder within Dropbox, just the Dropbox itself. Watch this. A desktop folder will be created over here. Hey, yo. Are you kidding me? How does this stuff work? These kids these days. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to copy that stuff out of here. Resume sync. I know this is meandering. But I'll be damned if you won't learn something. So now this is syncing. Dropbox is going to delete the uh, the previous desktop folder. It's going to bring in the other one, and there's going to be stuff inside that one. Okay, the stuff that's inside this one here. All right. So look at that. We got that. Now I need to tell this computer to say, "Hey, things from that folder, put them over here, and anything that gets over here, put them in that folder." Okay, sim link these two things. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the syncing, pause the syncing, then I'm essentially going to copy this desktop folder from within here. This gets, this gets dicey. I'm gonna, maybe I'll just rename it here, and then I'll do a sim link. ln hyphen s, ln space hyphen s. Now I'll drag my desktop over there in my Dropbox, click enter, gives me the right thing, creates my little desktop folder. Now what I'm gonna do is copy all that stuff that was inside of that folder into that folder I just created. 
You know, fucking, it's scary. Super scary. Nobody knows what's happening. Luckily, these aren't important files. I had a backup of my logic stuff before I started. I don't need a backup of my desktop stuff. Now I'm going to resume syncing. Oh, God, let's see what happens. Okay. So it seems to be happening here. Now let's double check it. Let's go to Dropbox. Desktop. Okay. Let's see what's inside there. Well, all that stuff's in there. Dropbox is finished syncing over here. Dropbox is finished syncing over here. Let's do a little thing. Ready for this? A little test. Synced. Save it on the desktop. As untitled. Okay. Now, untitled is already there. This is on. This is so the web is you know the the canonical whatever thing. It's obviously going to be inside of my desktop on this computer. And if you go through Dropbox to that, which is is the same folder. All right, it's getting kind of magic now. But that's there. Now let's look on this one. Okay. Let's see what's on my desktop. Oh, it's there. You gotta be shitting me, man. So, as you can see, as you can see, that is a very simple and easy way to sync up your Dropbox stuff. Logic, desktop, all this crazy stuff. I, it's not simple and easy. I know it's kind of convoluted. It's sort of weird, and I'm sure there's better explanations out there, but this is how I had to figure it out because nobody ends up saying, like, we gotta delete the stuff out of the thing and then move it in again, and it's just like a little hacky bit in, the, in between. But once you get it set up, it works really well. I have been Chase Wardman Reeves from Ice to the Brim. I hope that you find this helpful and that your may your may your may your logic track settings always be synced and may your uh, template files uh, be very helpful. Thank you. See ya.